Thankfully, I don't drink. I don't right. Drink, I don't smoke. I don't do any of that. Bro, really? I don't. <laughs> I never. Have. Stay so, pure, man. Stay so. pure. You know, starting abroad is, is not. It's not as easy as people like like to think. There are some people who go down there and then they end up flaunting and you know like they see all of these new things and they have this signing new things syndrome and they go out partying and go out right. for adventures and stuff like that. Um, were you in any occasion like did you fall into that trap for a little bit and then you kind of climbed out or? Um, th thankfully, I don't drink. I don't right. Drink, I don't smoke. I don't do any of that. Bro, really? I don't. I never so, stay pure, man. Stay so, pure. That was never an issue for me. So actually, amongst my peers, I was usually the designated driver when we went out. Mm. So most times, so we would go out. Maybe we're gonna go off We would go out partying maybe Brisbane, and then we would drive back to Gold Coast. And now we have to drop everyone off and go back home. So that was never an issue for me. So the only thing I focused on was basically just my studies and a bit of sports here and there. I engaged in rugby. You play rugby? Yeah. How's that like? I was good. Yeah. I got knocked off. Good experience. Wow, which team did you play in? Um, I just played in Cairns during my high school days. I played for Baron Bulls. Okay, yeah. 